In this quick tutorial, we're going to take a look at the graphics effect that's a part of Mantra VR from Metal. Alright guys, I've got some 360 footage here of Venice again that I'm working with. And I want to show you one of the more unique effects that's a part of Mantra VR, and that is the graphics effect. And kind of show you some use cases for it, and kind of the whole appeal of the effect. So I've got my footage selected here, and I'm going to come over here to Effect, and Metal, and I'm just going to go to Mantra VR Graphics. And we look over here at the effects panel, you're going to see some options that are pretty similar to some you may have seen before, similar to the Project 2D effect. But I'll kind of show you the benefit of the graphics effect and really the unique uses you can do with it. So you'll see up here at the very top, we have frame layouts. We can select from monoscopic or stereoscopic footage. In my case, I'm using monoscopic, so we'll leave that as is. But next, you're going to see projected layer. And we're going to have an option here where we can select a layer. And so what you're going to want to have is either another piece of footage, a logo, a graphic, or anything you're wanting to add into your 360 shot. So let's come over here to my project panel. And I've got another composition here, which just has the Mantra VR logo in it. You can see it's on an alpha channel. So I'm going to go ahead and add this to my 360 composition. I'll just put it in on top of the footage. So now I'm going to select my River 360 footage here, come back up to the effects panel. And for the projected layer, I'm going to check this down now. I'm going to select my Mantra VR logo. And when I do that, you're going to see another copy of it appear behind our main logo. So I'm going to select my logo and just place it behind my 360 footage. Now we can see the 360 projected version of that logo. And we can adjust options like the point of interest where that's going to be on the footage. So we can reposition that. I'm going to go ahead and undo that and leave that at the default. We also have the field of view so we can kind of control the scale and size of the logo on our footage. So again, very similar to the Project 2D effect. That we've seen before but we have a few other options here so the next one we have is feather now if i adjust the feather right now because we have this on an alpha channel you really won't be able to see what's happening so i'm going to go back in here my logo and i'm going to turn on a background layer that i created just a solid with a gradient on it just so we can see what this effect does so i'll go back to my 360 footage and now we can see that background is on my logo and if i go ahead and adjust the feather here you can see it's adjusting the feathering around the logo and we can bring it all the way down if we want a hard edge on it you can see it's a pretty clean edge there for the effect, so that's nice. So I just want to demonstrate the feather effect if you have something that extends all the way to the edge of the comp. Uh, next option we have is also the opacity, so we can actually adjust the opacity of our logo or footage, or whatever we're using to add to our 360 footage. We can also make adjustments on the tilt axis, the pan axis, and the roll axis here. You can see it's actually gonna rotate it, kind of like it's in 3D space, but on a flat layer. So that's nice to have those options. Again, if you want to go ahead and move it around like you traditionally would in 360, you can just use the point of interest. So it's a little bit easier, more intuitive when you're moving something into position, you can just click and drag it to it. I know this option was requested pretty widely for some of the other effects in the past, so it's nice to just be able to click and drag that around. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn back off that background layer, just so we're dealing with the logo on an alpha channel. And the big power behind the graphics effect really lies in the distribution down here. So if I go ahead and toggle this open, we have all these different distribution options like we do on a lot of the other Mantra VR effects. So if you notice, the distribution type up here is set at Fibonacci and our number of instances is set to one. So I can actually drag this and increase this and you're gonna see the logo appear multiple times all over the footage. And this is kind of where the value comes in. So I can go ahead and move this around. You can see it's gonna rotate all of those logos around and all of them are facing directly toward the camera so they will look correct in 360. So it's really easy to create some kind of cool abstract animations using the mantra distribution options on your logos. So if I go actually have a, a POV perspective here I'm going to open up uh, that I was doing with Skylog's Composer so we can kind of see what this would look like uh, from a POV perspective. And I'll rotate around here, you can see all the logos, they look straight when you're looking at them directly so they all look correct uh, or being projected correctly for 360 footage. So let's go back to our main composition. But not only can we adjust the distribution type from Fibonacci to circle and all these other presets here and the number of instances, but we can also adjust the latitude. So you can see this, if I keyframe this, they all converge onto one area. So you can see how you can create some very cool keyframe animations using these settings. Next, we also have the rotate around the point of interest. Again, you can keyframe this to rotate these logos or whatever you're adding to your 360 shot. And we have the other options like incremental scale, which as you can see, the logos that are further away from the point of interest get smaller. Or if I go in the other direction, it does the exact opposite. Or they get smaller around the point of interest and these logos stay the same. I'll set that back to zero. And finally, we have the random scale deviation and we have random position deviation. 
and then finally random seed. So this does give you quite a bit of versatility to use and whatever layers you want to add in to use the graphics effect on and it's pretty convenient because the graphics effect is all controlled by the actual layer you have it applied to so you're not having to go through on a bunch of different layers and you can apply multiple instances of the graphics effect to your 360 footage. All right guys, hopefully you enjoyed this quick overview of the graphics effect as part of Mantra VR. It's been Charles Jager with Metal. Thanks for watching.